जय श्री गुरुदेव आवर नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज डिजाइन ए बेल ड्राइव टू ट्रांसमिट ट्वेंटी फाइव किलो वैट फ्रॉम ए मोटर शाफ्ट रोटेटिंग एट थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड आर पी एम टू ए कंप्रेसर रनिंग हट फाइव हंड्रेड आर पी एम द मोटर पुली इज नाइंटी सिक्स the center distance between the shaft is 1.5 meter now compare this problem with the previous problem so some of the data is not given so for that we should go for assume those data again read one more time and write the given data design a bell drive right now is not given what type of bell drive we should assume it is a flat belt drive right and design in the thing but i want to calculate what will be the this is the assume flat open belt drive system write the sketch the larger pulley and the smaller pulley and with the notations and later we will identify which one is driver and which one is driven now design means the thing but i want to calculate the diameters right and uh, thickness breadth and length okay come to know that based on the given data now is is a bell drive to transmit 25 kilowatt from a motor shaft is a driver the data the speed the shaft power is given 25 kilowatt and rotating at 1500 rpm is given the motor shaft rotating at 1500 rpm means the driver this uh, data is related to what driver right 1500 rpm i don't know if is n1 or n2 and to a compressor the driven it is running at 500 rpm this is data is related to what driven right the motor pulley is 96 mm the di effective diameter and the center distance between the shaft is 1.5 meter c is given the motor diameter is given now the speed you should remember the speed and diameter are inversely proportional if the speed is more diameter is less if speed is less diameter is small now tell me which one is driver and which one is driven now here compare these two speed the speed is more here right the driver side the speed is more means the diameter of the shaft the diameter of the pulley is less no there is a smaller pulley is a driver and larger pulley is a driven right then write the notations which one is n1 n2 and d as compared to previous problem some of the data is not given what are the data the given belt drive is assumed it as flat open belt drive the belt metal is not given we, we should assume the belt metal is leather and specific weight of the belt is 10 into 10 to the power of minus 6 newton per mm cube and g as you know the acceleration due to gravity 9.81 meter per second square that is 9819810 9810 mm per second square the thickness of the belt is not given then assume it is 10 mm you see that not speed and diameter of the pulleys are inversely proportional right now you go for design it design means what are the data remaining data is unknown here capital d is unknown breadth and thickness of the belt is unknown but thickness we should assumed here 10 mm and length of the belt these are the things we are going to determine right now go for according to the steps the step number 1 other dimensions in the other dimension calculate capital d we know that the linear speed of the belt is equal to circumferential speed of driver or circumferential speed of driven pulley now here the thickness of the belt is not given in the problem we have assumed that was that's why not included t in the formula once we substitute we can get capital d is 288 mm now you know the linear velocity with the belt is this formula from the above formula only you get that one now we'll now divide by 1000 because diameter are in millimeter have taken now convert into meter per meter that's why divide by 1000 then v is equal to 7.54 meter per second 
the centrifugal stress as you know the formula from the data handbook 21.3 b centrifugal stress is equal to w v square by g into 10 to the power of 6 that will get newton per mm square now w for you assumed for leather belt this is the value v already we calculated divided by g 9810 in substitute you will get sigma c is 0.0579 newton per mm square then you go for determine the fourth step here the capacity e to power of mu theta here you can see the mu value is given in the problem no theta also you have to calculate now how do we calculate mu here mu is unknown first calculate mu value by referring the table 21.4a yes. by referring the table 21.4a from the table for a given velocity i want to calculate that depends upon velocity linear velocity belt i want to win we, we know the 7.54 meter per second but in the table you can see the for the velocity v we have some for 7.0 meter per second mu value is 0.456 for 8 meter per second mu value is 0.473 now i want what is the uh, for a velocity 7.54 what will be the mu value right we know that for linear so how do you solve this one we know that for linear interpolation for linear interpolation y minus take it as say x1 y1 x2 y2 for a given x what will be the y value that is nothing but mu we know the y minus y1 divided by x minus x1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 now substitute all the value you get y value mu is equal to y 0 0.45465 now how do you verify whether is your answer is right or wrong this mu value should become between these two value check here the mu value y should be greater than this y1 less than y2 right then only your answer is right once you calculate mu what is the one more term here capacity that is mu value you know next theta how do you calculate theta here this is for what type of system we are assumed here flat open belt drive you know for open belt drive theta l is equal to this is the formula we refer to equation number 21.10a now all the data are already we know that is capital d small d c also we know the substitute you will get theta l is equal to 3.269 radian again verify it this should be greater than this should be greater than 2 pi not 2 pi radians it should be greater than pi radians right 3.142 right now similarly for theta s the angle of contact for larger pulley over angle of contact for smaller pulley and the belt 21.10 p remember this uh, multiply here 5 by 180 in the data handbook is not there make it correction then substitute we get 3.014 radian that should be less than the pi radian that is 180 degree less than the 180 degree or 3.142 radian right now as back substitute assume the mu value is same for smaller and larger pulley take the capacity e power of mu theta is equal to e to power of mu theta s right and substitute mu already we know that theta s also we know the calculator substitute will get this is the capacity then you find the k, k value already we know the e power of mu theta then substitute the refer the equation 21.12 d below that equation we have uh, this formula and then k value got 0 0.754 next sixth step width of belt b is equal to how do you get we know the power transmitted per millimeter square area of the belt sigma 1 minus sigma c into k into v divided by thousand that you will get kilowatt per millimeter square that is equation number 21.4a sigma 1 whether we know the sigma 1 in this problem no sigma c already we calculated k also calculated v also calculated, which is unknown here sigma 1 is unknown then how do we calculate what is sigma 1 allowable stress for belt material right right how do you know this sigma 1 you know sigma 1 is equal to we are referring table 21.10 for leather belt tensile strength for single belt take sigma ultimate stress is equal to 24.5 megapascal 
this is ultimate stress this is not all over stress then how do you get all over stress we should again assume the factor safety is how much 10 then we know the fa factor safety is good failure stress by all over stress failure stress you consider as ultimate stress there will be all over stress all over stress nothing but sigma 1 back substitute here sigma all over is equal to sigma 1 we will get 2.45 newton per mm square then back substitute to the main equation 21.4a then we will get what is the power transmitted per meter millimeter square of area of belt is 0 0.0136 kilowatt per millimeter square next we know the total power is equal to power transmitted per millimeter square into cross-sectional area of the belt right now total power we know the 25 kilowatt take it as in the kilowatt only then power transmitted per meter square of the belt is 0 0.0136 into a area we will get you know assume t is equal to our 10 millimeter then area we calculated in the previous equation then we calculate b then refer the uh, table 21.8 for standard value of b the standard value of b is how much 200 mm in textbook is taken 180 mm I will take 180 mm or 200 better to go for higher value dimension should be higher value next length of the belt for open belt drive we know the formula equation number 21.7 now it is in the form of c capital d small d theta l and theta so all things are already we know that substitute and calculate then you get length of the belt is 3609.258 millimeter next step number eight initial tension in the belt T0. we know that from, from the bath equation 21.2 equation number then we know that i want to calculate t0 t1 we know that no we know the sigma 1 t2 also no we know we don't know the sigma 2 also then we calculate first t1 where t1 is the sigma 1 into a sigma 1 already we calculated then a also you can substitute you will get this value sigma 2 unknown uh, how do you calculate sigma 2 sigma 2 t2 is equal to sigma 2 into a sigma 2 also unknown then how do you get sigma 2 so sigma 2 is obtained from the equation 21.3a that is sigma 1 minus sigma c divided by sigma 2 minus sigma c that is equal to e to the power of mu theta now here from this equation calculate sigma 2 from the one substitute the sigma 2 value in the t2 equation now we will get t2 is equal to 1082.76 newton and then back substitute to the equation number back substitute to the equation number the 20 21.21.2 now we will get t naught then verify it whenever you get the answer please verify it t naught should be greater than t2 and less than t1 right right similarly try the one more problem for a flat belt of the following data similarly try this problem here also all the data are given except what is the new data is there any new data directly is given velocity of the belt one more new data is load factor whenever the load factor is given we know that uh, what is the total power transmitted is equal to power transmitted per meter square of the area of the belt into cross sectional area whole divided by load factor will come to the picture remember this one okay try to solve these two problems thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt please contact me or ask question to my number Okay, please send your question to my number, WhatsApp number. Thank you for watching this video.